First of all, Miss Garland, a very warm welcome back to London. Thank you very much, Trevor. It's nice to be here. I believe you had a bit of a job landing, didn't you? Well, we, the fog closed in uh, around the airport. It wasn't anyone's fault. We wound up in Manchester, and I've been there before. It's a nice town. And it's last time I'm back in London. That's important. Now, I Could Go On Singing is your first British film, isn't it? Yes, it is. How do you enjoy working in this country? I enjoy it very much. Very much. I like making films here. I like working here. I like living here. And Dirk Bogart is a very personal friend of yours, as well as your co-star in the film, isn't yes, he? Yes, yes. So this must have been a great help to you. Yes, that was one of the things that I was so disappointed about last night when we couldn't land, because I knew that he was uh, at the airport to, to uh, greet me, and I, uh, was, uh, you know, he doesn't come out very often to do that. He's, he's a tough guy, as a matter of fact. And uh, the fact that he would wait up that long to uh, greet me and uh, that we couldn't touch ground made me sad. <laughs> now, on this program a few nights ago, we had an interview with young Gregory Phillips, the British boy who plays your son yes, in the who's film. Yes, who has suddenly become 48 years old since I last saw him. He's grown up, He's hasn't he? He's enormous. <laughs> when I left, you know, and it, it, we were doing the picture, he came to my nose and now he's here. 